Grab some popcorn and get comfortable because this video is kicking in that queer closet too. Love is a universal feeling, whether you are falling for the girl of your dreams for the first time or you have been in a long relationship with your soulmate, loving someone and being in love are two of the greatest feelings in the world, especially in a society that tries to dictate who you can and you cannot love. One, two, three, four, you're the one that I adore. Five, six, seven, eight, don't run from me because this is fake. That being said, it is February, the month of love, and there is nothing more than I wanted than to watch a beautiful and romantic, never seen before lesbian movie, to reaffirm my perpetual singleness. It was me you loved, wasn't it? Unfortunately, that's not happening this year, so I wanted to mention my favorite and most romantic scenes in lesbian movies to put you in the mood for love. Welcome to Lesbian Mojo. In today's video, I will show you my top 10 best and favorite lesbian love declarations and love quotes. Number 10. Holy Camp. I could easily watch this scene 80 times and still give me the butterflies every single time. Milagros, ¿tú alguna vez has estado enamorada? Um, Susana. No, te lo estoy preguntando en serio. ¿Te ha pasado alguna vez Susana. que te enamoras tanto, 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 tanto de alguien que no puedes parar de pensar en esa persona? Susana Romero. No, ¿verdad? Susana no, ¿verdad? Romero, ¿eh? ¿No te ha pasado? No, eh, hay vale, límites. pues a mí sí, a mí sí. Y resulta que yo no puedo parar de pensar en ti. It is a Spanish musical comedy film from 2017. Y si a mí alguien me dijera que estoy confundida y que tengo que parar y pensar con la puta cabeza, le mando a tomar por culo. Vale, porque sí, sí, contra todo pronóstico, yo, Susana Romero, soy bollera, me he enamorado de una monja y mi mejor amiga se ha enamorado de Dios, pues cada una con lo suyo. Marie and Susana spend the summer in a Catholic camp. While they are grounded during a weekend, the most unexpected arrival in the most unexpected way will change their feelings about life, love and freedom. ¿No? no. ¿Sabes qué haría yo ahora? Yo iría y te daría un beso, pero es que no lo voy a hacer. ¿Qué coño se lo voy a hacer? Susana. Before I forget, can I kindly remind you to please hit that like button now. The truth is, as you may know, the more likes I get, the more I'll be able to afford iced coffee. So thank you. Number nine, a secret love. This moving and beautiful portrait of this lifetime romance is beyond touching. It traces the lives of a baseball star and her partner now in their 90s, who pretended to be just good friends for decades. I didn't know what to think until I met Pat. I don't know what happened, but we went skating this one night together. And she said, here, and she hands me this piece of paper. The romance between Terry and Pat never seems to have gone stale. She was 22 in 1947 when she met the love of her life, Pat. Then 18. It was the most beautiful note that Pat wrote. And she says, I'm a reader. And I have read lots of stories, but I've never known where another woman has loved another woman. And she says, above all things, I hope, I hope it's mutual. They have kept the early love letters with the bottoms ripped off in case they were ever caught by the authorities. It is enraging that our society made them feel they had to hide. However, their happiness and love is the ultimate victory. People don't turn gay. Number eight, the prom. They are who they are. No, you don't know what you're saying. I do. I do. Look, I know how you were raised, but the world's a different place. And sure, it's not great, but I love this scene very much, not only because she finally comes out to her mom, but because also she declares her love for Emma in front of everyone. I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt anyone. 
I just want to be me. The prom takes you through a story of love, acceptance, redemption, and growth. Although it suddenly does miss the mark more than once. So here goes. I love you, Emma Nolan. <laughs> I honestly feel that Alyssa and Emma's character were both underutilized. And this would have been a great film if their storylines have been increased. I just don't want you to have a hard life. It's already hard. Number seven, I can't sink straight. Everything about the relationship between Layla and Tala was on fire and you will not want to take your eyes off them for a second. Thanks to you, I know what I want and I can't go back. I want to feel the way I did last night every day. I want to be with someone that 10 years from now makes my heart jump when I hear her key in the door. And that someone is you. As for how the storyline goes is about a London-based Jordanian woman named Tala, who prepares for her wedding with her fiancé when she meets Layla. This is not a way to live, Layla. It's not easy. It's not acceptable. We didn't break any rules last night, Tala. Number six, Carmen and Lola. It is a tender tale about two teens who unintentionally embark on a complicated journey of love and liberation. Ya en serio, si tú nunca te has besado con ninguna chica, ¿cómo sabes que te gustan? ¿Y tú? Si nunca te has besado con una chica, ¿cómo sabes que no te gusta? No, no, ¿qué haces? Que no te he dicho, que como lo hagas te parto la cara, ¿eh? Pues no he sentido nada. Carmen is a gypsy teenager destined to live a life that is repeated in every generation, getting married and raising as many kids as possible. But one day she meets Lola, an uncommon gypsy who dreams about going to university that does graffiti and it is very different in any possible and traditional way. Te echo de menos. Y no me preguntes qué ha pasado, pero ahora solo me pregunto qué hará sin mí. Si estará feliz y contenta cuando yo solo pienso que te echo de menos. No sé si te darás cuenta de que te estoy diciendo que te quiero. Y me da igual que seas una chica. Me gustas como para casarme contigo si pudiera. Porque siento dentro mucho calor en el corazón. Te quiero. Number five, Elisa and Marcella. Cuatro semanas, tres días y nueve horas me separan de la última vez que pude olerte. Y sin embargo, te siento tan cerca a mi pensamiento que casi podría tocarte. Todo me recuerda a ti. Todo. An intimate film that gives a voice to the forgotten. Lesbians are so brave, always have been and always will be. Elisa and Marcella do justice to our existence, courage, which is something the only queer woman will ever understand. Imagino todas nuestras cartas juntas como si fuesen amuletos. Ya nosotras desnudas encima de ellas. Como si todas las palabras que nos hemos ido enviando pudiesen protegernos del frío, del pueblo, de la distancia. The chemistry between Elisa and Marcella makes you never question the truth and strength of their relationship. And those straight male critics who hated this film will never understand that. Number four, Alphabet. A warm-hearted, funny, and really well-crafted movie about two girls, one boy, love letters, and the art of romantic texting. I don't think I've ever hung out with a girl and not talked about boys before. Oh, sorry. Don't be. It's nice. An intelligent and intimate movie that captures the feelings for longing for that first love and a thoughtful meditation on what love is. Love is being willing to ruin your good painting for the chance at a great one. 
What does finding the one even means? It is the big question in the movie with a multitude of answers. And it is beautiful to see the examination of just that. That is powerful enough to encourage you to make a bold step for the better. Is this really the boldest stroke you can make? You. Yeah. Number three, portrait of a lady on fire. This is a well-made movie and a favorite among us. And even though the movie doesn't have the typical happy ending that you would expect, it is one of the most beautiful movies I have ever seen. There is almost not a single moment in this film that couldn't be captured, mounted and hung on a wall as a high romantic art. It is a beautiful and compelling love story. One of those movies that stays with you even when the movie finish. Number two, Imagine Me and You. This is one of those rarest of unicorns, a light-hearted lesbian rom-com. Sweet, kind, and completely free of bad intentions. Now tell me about the lily. The lily means... The lily means I dare you to love me. This is me. Okay, good night. It is a perfect, feel-good movie for a cozy movie night. Rachel falls in love with Luz as she walks down the aisle on her wedding day. This movie has every rom-com trope in the book, but quite frankly, we love that. Why should heterosexual couples be the only ones who get to claim all of those romantic rom-coms? Okay, so do you see? You, you have to see. I, I can't do this. I can't actually do this. So whatever it is or was, it's got to stop, and it's got to stop now. Do you understand? It's over. The movie is funny and has an amazing cast and gets to hit all of those right notes while also being very gay. You're awake, you're Luz, I can do this! I can do this! I highly recommend you to watch this movie if you want to get in the mood for love. Number one, The World Come. I hope I'm not keeping you from something. I'm glad you've come. Meeting you has made my day. How pleasant and uncommon it is to make someone's day. Did we need more lesbian period dramas? No. Did we still watch it? Definitely yes. It is a film to remember for his passion, for his beliefs that those small moments of pleasure are worth holding onto, even if the rest of the world might never believe they are even possible. Every morning I wake up and I think that I never want to be far from you. The movie celebrates the female desire to be free and offers a delicate and passionate note of courage and love. You're talking about that moment that I have dreamed about when we're carried in triumph for having done something wonderful or received at home with tears and shouts of joy. Do you know what I wonder? The film portrays queer desire as something which existed in the 19th century, but it couldn't be fulfilled. I imagine that I love how our encircling feelings leave nothing out for us to want or seek. 
it is a film to remember for his passion, for his belief that those small moments of pleasure are worth holding on to. Why didn't you do what you attempted to do? Even if the rest of the world might never really believe that are even possible. Let's be honest, almost everything about Valentine's Day is heterosexual and it is truly exhausting. We definitely need more room for queer representation, especially during this time of the year. Every time I look into your lovely eyes I see a love that money just can't Whether V-Day is a happy occasion or one that you rather forget, there is no better way to celebrate the day of love than with a good lesbian movie. And I hope that one of these movies will get you in the mood. I hope you enjoyed today's video and thank you so much for watching. Anything you need, you got it. Anything.